Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. And also, this is the last time I'm gonna see you before Christmas. I personally celebrate Christmas, so if you celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful time with your family. That's what I'm gonna be doing, and I am really looking forward to it. So today I use the Sweet Peach palettes from Too Faced to create the look that I'm wearing today. Um, I really love how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. These are brand new and I missed out on them when they first launched um, earlier this year, I think. Um, but I got them this time, so I'm so happy. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing this look, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going to prime my face with my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Then her foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pearless Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Next, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair to, uh, to conceal my under eye area and any blemishes I have on my skin. A little bit of this goes such a long way, so I never really use too much. And I'm going to blend it out using my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to bake my under eye area using the RCMA No Color Powder. And after I'm done baking, what I like to do is take a little bit of that powder on just a brush. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I just like to kind of set my eyebrows because that's what I'm going to be doing next. And since I'm using a brow pomade, I don't want it to be too slippery on my eyebrows, so I'm setting this to give myself a little bit of friction um, while doing my brows so it's easier and when I blend it out, it doesn't get um, mixed with my foundation and get on my forehead. We've all had that problem at some point, right? So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Number no. 12 brush. And then I'm gonna set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is my absolute favorite brow gel. If you ever want your brows to seriously stay in place and actually not move throughout the day, this is my favorite one for that. It makes your brows so like just like stiff and in place. I love it. So if you like have a really set way you like doing your brows and you really do not want it to move or whatever, this is perfect. So next I'm gonna wipe off the powder underneath my eyes. And chin. And I'm going to set the rest of my face using the exact same powder. And this is a Real Techniques blush brush. So let's start getting peachy, shall we? <laughs> this is the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow palette. It is so, so beautiful. Like, I love it so much. It's so, so pretty. Everything is literally, it's perfect and a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, when I first like heard this was coming out, I wasn't really interested in getting it because 
I thought this bronzer was shimmery. I thought this highlight was going to be too dark. I have enough peach blushes. But upon swatching it and receiving it, I can't believe I didn't want it, you know? It's so pretty. And it smells so good. I know that everyone is probably going to say like how good everything smells, but no joke, it smells so, so good. So I'm going to start by using the bronzer um, to bronze up my skin and also to contour my nose. What's crazy is that it's kind of a shimmery bronzer, but it doesn't look um, like shimmery on the face. It looks really, really nice and natural, which I love. Like, doesn't it look just nice? So if any of you guys were on the website when this palette, when the palettes launched, oh my gosh, it was so crazy. I was on the website a couple minutes before it launched and I was number like 12,000 something in line. That's crazy, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I, how I feel about the, the way they're doing their um, like website stuff now with big releases. I don't know, it just seems kind of counterproductive. Like, I don't want to wait that long, you know? Okay, let me just explain how it all went down. So basically what you would do is you'd put in an email and they would email you when it's your turn to get the palette. So I put in my email. It's like, it told me my wait time was going to be over an hour and it was already midnight. So I was like, dude, I'm tired. So I um, changed my um, email tone to a really, really obnoxious ringtone on my phone. So in the middle of the night, it was like two in the morning, I think, my whatever ringtone started going off and I got the palette like at two in the morning. So I don't know. It was funny and it was like a fun memory and stuff, I guess. But all in all, it was just kind of like, I just wanted to go to bed and I was afraid that it was going to be like sold out, but they actually had a lot of palettes surprisingly. So like you can still get the palette like now, like anywhere basically. So I think they did this collection right. Like no one is going to have to, no one's going to feel like they didn't get it you know what i mean next i'm gonna take the blush in the palette it's so so pretty i just gotta smell it every time i use it just we're just gonna get used to that this gives you the most beautiful flush i used all this stuff yesterday by the way just to kind of test it out so this isn't like a first impressions but it's so nice and then i'm gonna take the highlighting shade <clears throat> Which, like I said, I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it isn't. I feel like it's a really nice, like, universal glow color because it's dark enough to where I feel like people who are tan or have deeper skin could use it. But it's also light enough for fair people to use it, which I love. And it's kind of a peachy tone. It doesn't really look peachy in the palette, but once you put it on your face, it looks really peachy. So then on my nose, I'm just going to kind of dot it on the bridge of my nose like that. And then, boop. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden to prime my eyes. What's new? I feel like I use this in every video. It's a good primer, and I like that it's yellow-based. It's just good. Okay, so now let's dip into the star of the show for sure. This palette is just beautiful. Like, I am loving this palette. It's so pretty. It was so exciting because I missed out on it when it originally launched last year, or earlier this year, I think. And I was so sad because I loved it so much and I tried to get it so much, so badly, but I just couldn't. So I'm taking the shade White Peach, which is the shade right here and I'm setting my crease to brow bone area with this shade. Um, this is just going to make sure that all my eyeshadows blend well together. And I'm not setting my lid because if I set my lid, the color I put on my lid isn't going to show up as much or stick as well. So taking a Sephora Pro blending brush, I love this brush to apply like your first shade to blend everything out. It's so good. I'm going to take the shade Georgia right here beautiful like 
neutral looking pink color. Love it. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to start blending that into my crease. so good I like the shade puree which is this one right here it's a nice light brown a very warm toned brown all right and I'm going to take this kind of in the same area but a little bit lower and focus it a little bit more on the outer corner just to create a little bit of definition and more of a shadow and start building up the crease. So I'm gonna try the shade Bellini today, which is this one right here. Let's make this look a little bit more peachy. I'm going to take um, my favorite shade in the entire palette, which is called Candied Peach. This shade right here. It's matte, but it has, well, I won't say it's matte, but it's one of those matte shadows that has shimmer running through it, like little bits of glitter. I love it. They're actually really easy to put in the crease, too. It doesn't look too crazy. So I'm actually going to do that just to make this look a little bit peachier and uh, more fun. This is the Morphe M433 brush, one of my favorite, like, more precise blending brushes. I know it's still kind of big, but it's smaller than the Sephora one. You can already see the difference, like, between this eye and this eye. It's much more peachy. Even the look that I'm wearing right now is something that I think is very wearable for every day. Um, so, yeah, I'm super, super happy with this palette, and I'm so glad I picked it up. Now I have all of the Too Faced palettes, like all the big ones, and I, not all the small ones, I missed out on a couple, but I have like most of them. I'll do like a collection video eventually, because I do have, you know, a decent amount of makeup. Um, so yeah, you guys will see them. And I'm going to take the shade, the highlight shade from the highlight palette, on that little brush and just kind of highlight the brow bone. Sorry. It also highlights my inner corners. Well, I said I want to keep this really natural looking, and I do, but I do want to add a little bit of a more dramatic color on the bottom lash line. So I'm going to take the shade Summer Yum, which is this shade right here. It's a really nice um, darker warm tone brown, but it definitely has hints of red in it. It's very brick colored. So I do want to add a little bit of winged liner just to kind of make this look a little bit, um, I don't know, more defined. So I just got a new Kat Von D tattoo liner yesterday. It's my favorite eyeliner and I ran out of it, so I hadn't been using eyeliner for like a week and it was kind of getting ridiculous. So I picked up another one. <laughs> Yay. This is just the original one in the shade Trooper, which fun fact, that's the name of my dog. I'm going to use my Dior Show Maximizer 3D Lash Primer. I don't know what I, this is my holy grail makeup product completely because I don't know why, but a lot of sometimes mascara just doesn't look good, but 
with this, it makes it look so nice on me. And then I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Okay, and then I'm going to add a lip. It's going to be this peachy lip. It's so beautiful. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Feeling Myself. So I'm going to add that real quick. Overlined my lips a little too much. Um... I wasn't even trying to, but then I just kind of started messing up my lipstick, so I just had to overline it to correct it. Happens. Okay, so this is the completed look. I love it. It's super springy, and I thought about not even filming this tutorial for this time of the year, but I thought it's a brand new product. I might as well um, play with it a little bit for you guys on the camera. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I love it. I think it's so pretty and so wearable. So yeah, and I like the lip too. At first I was like, hmm. This lip is going to be too neon. It is a little bit neon, but it's so pretty. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye.